And he built by himself. What a guy. Yeah. How did we get up here? You know, he, he must build uh, robots to build this stuff. So he builds the robots. He builds this one robot, I suppose. And, uh, I guess he would have been called Alpha. And uh, he makes the robots that build these ships. Huh. And uh, these ships mass produce robots to make more ships. Yeah. So really, it makes sense that. Uh, Where'd Robot get all this he, money? He'd get mining robots, too. Like, you get mining robots and manufacturing like, yeah, see, robots. Like, uh, Robotnik needed all the money to do this, for right? Yeah. Where'd he get it? Uh, maybe. Like, what I'm thinking is he, uh, he built, um, robots that take care of the business side of things. And, uh... <laughs> he built business bots. And they mine for, uh, for materials. Oh. And then they just make them from scratch. Oh. Because they're so, they're so advanced that they can just, uh... They can do all that stuff with no problem. Uh, a goal. So, you mean, that's a good. That's a cool concept. Like a uh, a robot that scavenges and refines gold. Yeah. And things like that. And uh. That'd be cool. Yeah, yeah, and they, ma they make hands. money. They make money on the gold that he uh, yeah. he gets. And uh, once he got these big pan hands that scoop gold and then just pan it at the same time. He also and they dumps the gold into a sack. Yeah. On his stomach. Oh, he's like a little marsupial thing with <laughs> with flap hands. Just gets gold. He's also the met, the meth uh, kingpin in Detroit. <laughs> what? <laughs> he works forever. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't get tired. He's there all night, all day. Mm -hmm. Runs what on are, chaos emeralds. <laughs> like in whatever country he's trying to find gold. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. Gotta take your time. Yeah. Can't just flop blow into this stuff. Whew. You gotta be gotta be really good at platformers to be good at this game, it seems. Um Yeah, it's yeah, certainly not helping. I can't right. help but I can't help but respect uh that guy that said he did a he actually does a good job at this because just uh yeah you know this stage uh this actually looks pretty good look down like it's actually for this era like look see the you can see the planet down there <clears throat> yeah it's not bad they can look at the ships too they all look like they're i mean oh, yeah. clearly they're flat but i mean it, yeah you know at least they're there mm -hmm. it, it really kind of gives you the feel of actually being a little high up i i I can't do any... Okay, here we go. Now what? I mean, yeah, it's... Now what? It, it's refreshing okay, not to be in bland corridor land like the mansion place, but it's also annoying to be in rail land. Mm -hmm. I thought we already did this in Sonic Adventure 2. Like, what are we going to do for the last stage? Uh, floating platforms with rails? Mm -hmm. Yeah! That can't fail. And you get this. You get Final Rush, you get this, and what... Whatever else there was, probably more since then. But still, imagine if they tried to make hard platforming. Oh, God. This was their attempt. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately. No, th this game is hard because of the enemies, mainly. And the... Yeah, yeah I suppose. Some, some slippy parts. Really this isn't as slippy as Final Rush or Crazy Gadget or whatever the hell it was. The platforming isn't bad, but there's just it repeats itself too much. And then there's parts where you have to switch uh, switch uh, arrangements, which is it's an awful one, in my opinion. Hmm. It's it's a it's a gimmick and like it's a gimmick in the strongest something. <laughs> strongest sense of it. the word. Yeah, strongest sense of it. The greatest definition. The best of the best of the best. Of the oh, let's get that. Ha. Huh. Ha ha ha. I even got all the keys. Oh god. Watch it. Switch to flying. 
I should just stay in point. Yeah. Yeah. And skip every enemy. Why if not? Yeah. They gave me a flying mode. You know, um, in Kirby, you can fly all the time, and and uh, but it doesn't like it discourages it because just flying through a level just feels so bad because you're not you're not interacting with anything. Yeah, and I noticed that after I started, like every time I go back and, and you replay go really a Kirby, slow and yeah, yeah. Every time I go back and replay a Kirby game, I always find myself playing the level even though I don't have to. Yeah, yeah. And I I, I understand yeah, what the, you're saying. You're just doing it with sympathy. Mm -hmm. Like well, maybe I should, yeah, maybe I should do That's, these things. Like the Kirby, I think is the best type of easy, like extremely easy uh, hand holding game because uh, yeah, it, I, you're you're encouraged to you're encouraged to do what you don't need to do to have yeah, fun. I know what you're saying. It's yeah. this Kirby's Epic Yarn. Like the game is ex the game is stupidly easy, but I found myself. Giving myself impose self-imposed challenges mm -hmm. of not dropping any beads. Yeah. And it becomes really tough because mm -hmm. you got to beat it without losing any beads. Mm -hmm. And I did a, the vast majority of the stages without dropping beads, and that took a few playthroughs. Yeah. It was it was it became fun just mm -hmm. because of that. Mm -hmm. Really, I encourage anybody that's afraid to try Kirby's Epic or any Kirby game, and in fear of it being too easy to go try it. And try to try to do it either without getting hit or um, whatever each game's gimmick um, is. Just try to play it in such um, a way that yeah, you're dead. You're dead. That's all there is to it. Yeah, but anyway, yeah. you get the point. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like, um, really though, uh, did you ever play one of the like Dreamland two or three? No. Those games are impossible to. Uh, uh, one hundred percent. They're just like legitimately challenging. Re like they're really unforgiving uh, with the conditions that you have to uh, do to uh, get like it's not the, surprising. Like the true final boss and yeah. And um, in Dreamland two, the the true last boss is is actually really hard. Like I, I still like I actually played it for the first time recently and I still didn't beat it. Mm. Like on my first try. So, oh, Whoa, this part. <laughs> I had like six lives and I lost them all. Yeah. Oh, shit. See, I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Where are you guys? Okay. <sighs> it's the red laser. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That even... No, that that doesn't come up in this game. What am I talking Or does it? Wait. We'll see. <laughs> Get out of there. The door I is open. You oh, can leave oh, now. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, freaking... Every single thing you do that's apart from the main objective is extremely dangerous and stupid. Yeah, this is the opposite of what we were saying about Kirby. Yeah. Like, you, you can't let yourself do anything that you don't have to. <laughs> yeah. Unless scary. you're really good at it, yeah. <laughs> Go down. Okay, I... Yeah, okay. I'll listen to you next time. <laughs> now that I know you're not lying. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't lit... I just couldn't hear you. I couldn't see the subtitles because I thought it was... I didn't know you could control that thing. I didn't have experience with being able to control it. You never had to before. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so why start now? See, this game is great. It introduce not only does it introduce new levels as the game goes on, but it introduces concepts. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it it changes concepts right it? to the end, so you're never bored. <laughs> yeah, every stage is a brand new adventure. Uh -huh. It's true. There we go. It's a 
it's a it's a sargus. <laughs> it's probably called a tadras or something. Something stupid. Tadrasin. And it's all abbreviated, like little yeah. dots between the letters. Yeah. It's a, uh, it's a, um, it's a grudge trying to steal the grief seal. <laughs> oh. They're created from people's hearts. Oh. We, uh, capture the most angry and sadistic people oh. in the world and yep. subtract their heart and I can, then make it into monsters. I can dodge now. Oh. Okay. Doesn't make sense that I'd be able to control this up now. Should be left and right. Anyway. Uh, look at that huge Eggman battleship. <laughs> yeah? Well, I can too. Uh, <laughs> Remember how in the very first episode, we were worrying about how those little boxes that say fly, speed, power, right? Yeah. Would stop giving you hints. Uh huh. They didn't. Yeah, they didn't. <laughs> this is the second last stage. Well, I I said the gates would stop, like the gates would stop showing up that uh, automatically switch it for you. Uh. -huh. I was right about that. You give credit where it's due. <laughs> I think the only reason that's gone is because we're on floating platforms now. <laughs> and it's just not feasible to do it. I, I, okay, um... There's something... Okay, here we Okay. I thought I had two friends. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for my friends and their incompetence. Your team. <laughs> oh, here's something weird. What the heck? What am I doing here? Uh -oh. Wait. It told me to- Ah! Shit! It told me to do something, but I- I uh, didn't catch it. Oh no. Whatever. Might as well finish this today, I suppose. <laughs> Damn it, it's turning into this. Yeah, I know, but we're right at the end. Oh. Okay. You know, if, uh,. If we're tired at the end of the stage, we'll just end it. Do you think we have a death wish? Question mark. <laughs> Unmatched throughout the universe. Well, I should know. Yeah. You can't hit me. I'm way too fast. <laughs> I touched the analog stick, I suppose. Look at that sprite ass guy down there. Imagine how big that is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's probably bigger than this. No, no, we're going on multiple ships here. So. Why is that not the main ship? Should be. Maybe you get to it or something. Yeah. And by the time you start getting close, it just pops in. It's just a big manta ray. That's yeah, cool. <laughs> it's like uh, Arsenal Gear being a Metal Gear Solid 2. Uh, yeah. This awesomely huge manta ray looking underwater ship thing. 
that just crashes into New York. Hmm. It's gigantic. Yeah, that metal, that gigantic Metal Gear Ray you saw at the beginning of the game. There's like thousands of those inside this. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. How like how did how does how does the world like get that kind of stuff I don't know. existing in real in semi real world of a uh, the semi real world of a uh, Metal Gear Solid? Well. <clears throat> I don't know what, uh, you're not, probably not going to play it. I'll spoil, I'll spoil it for you. What? If anybody here watching wants to play Killing Yourself 2 or whatever, just don't listen. Yeah. Uh, it's old enough. Um, that's like the premise of the game. Like, uh, It's becoming too difficult to hide this shit that they build because mm -hmm. of the internet. Yeah. And the game, uh, there's a theme, like a running theme in the game with the rise of the internet and uh, free information. Oh, yeah. And Arsenal Gear is like a big computer. It's like a gigantic computer that's designed to filter the internet itself. Oh, yeah. It censors all, it censors the internet. Okay. Which is an amazingly large feat that they had to work really hard to do. And this, the Arsenal Gear, this all encompassing Metal Gear carrying internet filtering home base for. Uh, the Patriots is in the central point of the game. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, the oil rig that you're playing the game on is riding. It's just sitting on top of Arsenal Gear. Yeah. It's like this little tiny thing compared to Arsenal Gear. And then the oil rig just collapses, and everything you did was meaningless. Mm -hmm. And Arsenal Gear is just launches at the end of it. And the game takes a really strange psychological nosedive, and it's very weird. Whoa. All those rings. Like, uh, you hear a bunch of characters in the game <coughs> constantly talk about the S3 program, and you're trying to figure out what S3 is for the whole game. Yeah. And then, uh, there's actually two different answers, and I'm not sure which one... Right. I think, uh, Solid Snake or Ocelot maybe calls it, uh, he reveals that the oil rig and all that set up stuff was, uh, the S3 program, uh, in effect. Yeah. And it's, uh, means Solid Snake simulation. So, uh, oh, yeah. they were simulating, uh, everything that happened to Shadow Moses with Snake to turn Raiden into Snake. <laughs> Which oh, is yeah. crazy. Uh -huh. And, uh, then uh, at the end of the game, Raiden's uh, nothing like Snake. At the end they of the game, uh, spectacular. They game. say it might have been something else. I forget what the second thing for S three was, but mm -hmm. anyway, that was kind of cool. But it oh, uh, well. stop! Let me jump. I I can't shake the feeling that it wasn't a kind. It was kind of an excuse to just do the same thing as MGS one. Just to, like make the same enemy, using make the same itself. character archetypes as MGS1. You know what I mean? Because it's a simulation of Shadow Moses. But like Metroid what Other are we M, doing? Metroid what Other is M, this? Uh, Metroid Other M's bottle ship is actually you find out is a simulation of Zebus. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh the, yeah, yeah. That's right. And that's just so they can steal ideas. Uh huh. Sack it's like a Sonic, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 4. Yeah. Yeah. We're going back and revisiting all those old bosses you love. And doing nothing to them. <laughs> yeah. God damn it. <laughs> really? That's the best they could have did. <laughs> to try to do anything original with probably you, fall flat on their face. What are you talking about again? Sonic the Hedgehog 4. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's just a direct ripoff of Sonic One, in every way. Yeah. Except wrong, except worse. Uh -huh. A lot worse. But whatever. At least they tried. At least it's different. It works. Uh, a little. I mean, yeah.
Okay, I don't, I don't know, I don't know what I'm... This, uh, this game would really be perfected by having, uh, sections where you have to play Rouge to find, uh, emeralds. Yes. That would really just bring this game up from a 9 to a 10. Mm-hmm. If it just stopped everything to make you play as Rouge. Yep. Mm-mm-mm. Okay, let's figure this out. Let's figure it out. Rocket Excel. Rocket Excel. Um, What's that? I said it says I need to use it. Um, A square. I tried that. X. Let's just keep wrong. Oh, okay. What the hell was it? One fat. I just run through. That's Rocket I'll Excel. I'll go fast enough, yeah. Why did they just name it something? Didn't Really didn't look like it go fast enough, even with Sonic. Go, oh, okay. Yeah, that's Rocket Excel in a nutshell. So what you do? Yeah, here we go. I just did something. I'm proud of myself. Wow. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Hell yes. Looks like those creeps are guarding that case. Let's, oh. Let's get rid of the creeps. I want creeps in my neighborhood. Hell yeah. Okay, here we oh. go. Got rid of them creeps. Now we can creep our way up here. Creep. Why does it fail so much? I don't understand. When I'm just like mashing X to try to get these guys together, and it just doesn't work sometimes. What the hell's up with that? It drove me right into the bottom of this thing. Let me do that again. I have to. Okay, go up here. What? Yeah, that's fine. Woo! 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 Okay, more. Nice. Double nice. <laughs> I gotta get the rings, though. Okay, here we go. Oh, speed time. Oh, these rings are different, I guess. They follow a different uh, Just animation. press square for your waist, the ones at the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> and they can't do it. Huh. What is this? What is this? Uh, I don't want to, like, see. Home free, okay. We're all good. We're all good. Gonna watch out for these cannons. Watch out for the cannons. Like, when there's a cannon in front of me, don't run into it. As it shoots because the velocity that I'm moving at and the velocity that the projectile is moving at will be too great and uh, I will gain damage. Me will blow up. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh. Was that a threat in any way? No. I just had to... I guess if I went down, I would have got hit. Okay, I'm down. Here's the same thing again. Bored of this yet? But now we're going forward. What? I went through here before. <laughs> oh 
I want to use my team last. <laughs> Just because it's blinking at you. Oh, I got... I'm destroying all the battleships. <laughs> they're all, like... They're all sort of set up in the same way. Oh, except this time there's no platforms. Ah! <laughs> they put it just out of your reach. Like they do all the platforms. <laughs> where they want you to do it a certain way. Uh -huh. They just make sure you can barely not do it a different way. How do you get a hundred rings in this game? How do you do anything? Okay, let's see. Um, let's fly again. Whoa. Whoa, that would have hit me. Okay. More rings for me. And the same thing. Oh, forget. Why? Why'd they... Why'd they go ahead with it? They're not even hiding it anymore. Remember this place? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do. Remember that enemy in this place? Yeah. Same old. Right? Another day, another dollar. <laughs> oh, no. No. Don't. They pushed me away There's from the right... right there you can get. In case you need it. Yeah. Oh, more. Yeah. Some safety rings they put there just in case. Just team blast this guy. No, no, it's all good. Okay. There. Use Rocket Excel. Yeah, let's do it with Rocket Excel. Rocket Excel! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> so is that what Sonic's Fast is called? <laughs> yeah. Is that what it is? Yep. Here's the end of the stage, you can tell because of the freeze frame. Or can... oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Seventy-seven eighty. We could do better. Barely made it. Mm -hmm. We won. Bye. Find a fortress. This one is long. Yeah, I can imagine. This is the final rush. The last sin. The eggs. <laughs> final egg. Final egg, yeah. Okay. Okay, guys. Come on. Just, just let me... Do this for me, please. Nope. This better be an interesting state. Better be an interesting level. It's basically the same as the last stage, plus weird lasers to dodge, and it's longer. Oh, it's nothing really new. I I don't know what I'm supposed. To, like, am I doing it right? Oh. I like how they added that uh, spire of, of uh, flame to keep you from just easily dodging and stuff. Use knuckles. Oh. Tails' like, launch move is so inconsistent. Sometimes it kills stuff, sometimes it doesn't. I know. Oh, here we go. That's what it's supposed to do. Oh, yeah. Alright, then. Good enough. I'll find him. Well, see if we can... Ha <laughs> ha.
Okay, zero lives. Once I die, I will finish. I don't get that. Let's do this. Hmm. That was intentional, I suppose. <laughs> I was kind of hoping it would be. Alright. Whatever. Oh, and these platforms aren't affected by rings. I mean, rings are can't collide with them. <laughs> I kind of thought the rings just fell back into you. Oh, that was a pretty cool thing. Wish I had a team last. Oh. They do attacks too fast. Yeah. Like, seriously, though. 